Welcome everyone. Oh, I've got a good one for you today. I don't know if you caught that seven foot wide pivot door, but here's another vantage. Seven feet by 10 feet. <laughs> this is one of the biggest, craziest pivot doors ever. All right, now we keep saying that this is our favorite house, but I'm honestly, this is my favorite house that we've shown so far on this channel. Now, you'll see this entire home's been remodeled and we've seen plenty of homes that have been remodeled. And in photographs, they look great. Then we see them in person and you see where the corners have been cut here, 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 maybe for budgetary purposes or lack of knowledge. This is so next level. I am so excited to show you all these details that went into the construction. So without further ado, let's show you this house. Let's get to the kitchen since we all start in the kitchen area first so first off the entire downstairs floor is hand scraped wood um, this looks wonderful very rich very lush now coming over to the breakfast nook area since we're gonna get to the kitchen here in a moment we've actually blown out the walls we haven't been able to do this because it's been 115 degrees we're finally getting cooler weather so you can see here we have dual sliders that come to a 90 degree angle and this allows this sensational indoor outdoor living beautiful some of these will be pockets some of them won't but here's one example of just brilliant construction. Instead of just having a dead end wall, we have the continuation of the quartz countertops that actually run like a waterfall. And this is where the slider stops in this position. There's a million details like this that we're gonna show you today. Now, getting to the kitchen. Look at this kitchen. <laughs> I mean, it speaks somewhat for itself. First of all, We've seen so many times in homes that should be at a certain price point and should have certain levels of construction that don't, but we do have, you know, the prototypical waterfall, but we do have a gray quartz countertop with a matte finish. So it looks more like a, a stone. We have a three inch relief, which to me should be standard. I mean, this is almost a $5 million home and this is worth $5 million and you will see why. Love all the brass accoutrements, so all the drawer pulls are brass, and pay attention to this. This bank of cabinetry, of course everything is custom, but these kind of look like a stone finish. When we get to the back portion over there, you'll see that those cabinets look more like a zebra wood, but an absolute massive island, took two slabs just to create the counter surface on the top, and then look at this we basically have a second island. So while this is more for cooking and storage, this is where people will sit and entertain. Now, this blows right out to the outdoor living space. And as you can see, these are accordion style sliders. So very, very neat the way these move as opposed to the normal sliders that we see for doors. But I mean, I feel like I'm at North Italia in Summerlin right now. Someone should be serving me uh, martinis. Also, underneath here, maybe we'll get a better vantage point. There's additional cabinetry and undermount lighting under here. So at night, this would really be beautiful. Now, heading over to this area, we do have a kosher sink and all the sinks in here are Torva. Um, beautiful. I mean, there's not much more I can say. The quality speaks for itself. Now, before we get to the rest of the kitchen, I'm gonna show you the pantry. There's one neat little thing that we discovered at the last second. We'll talk a little bit more about these doors, but all of the doors in the house are solid core doors. You know the moment you actually feel this because these have such substantial weight. They're not like the normal doors that you see or feel. Now this pantry is motion detected. So I just triggered the illumination. So it's a beautiful pantry. It's all custom, pretty spacious. I thought this was really, really neat. So I noticed some hinges and like we normally call the Scooby-Doo door, this opens and this conceals all of your HVAC. So here's your furnace, your controller. I just thought this was a wonderful way to conceal it instead of having just a normal door or something a little more unsightly. All right, enough of the pantry love. We'll get to uh, the wine storage in the moment, but this I <laughs> love. I'm a freak for appliances and Mila is like the creme de la creme of appliances. I love how the stainless steel has been embossed with the Mila name. So of course we have our refrigeration. Now this is a $20,000 refrigerator folks. Uh, it's about 9,000 each panel retail. So you're about 20 G's by the time you get done with it. All right, now, like I 
spoke about earlier, cabinetry, full custom, and this is more of a zebra wood look. It looks wonderful, very rich. We have the same quartz matte countertops as we did on the other two islands, and it's all flanked by this marble. Now, until you see these homes that we're looking at, you can't really appreciate. But we've seen many homes that look like marble, but in fact, it's a printed porcelain. Or in other terms, sometimes it's almost like a poster with a laminate, which is really cheap in person, but it looks great in photographs. This is full slab, custom fabricated marble. This is, there's nothing inexpensive, no cut corners. I love what they did for the illumination up here. Now, talking about appliances, we have a 48 inch dual fuel Mila uh, range. Uh, we got our pot filler, of course, but I mean, this right here is an $18,000 range and it is sensational, absolutely love it. Of course, we have a matching 48 inch ventilation and look what they did for the hood. I mean, they wrapped the ventilation hood in the same marble. I mean, just lush, very, very rich. Okay, now, if you've been watching, you know one of my biggest pet peeves is dishwashers. If I'm paying $5 million for a house, I better have two dishwashers. Ah, two dishwashers. Thank you for doing this correctly. Now, um, as we move along, again, we have the custom cabinetry that looks like stone as opposed to the zebra wood veneer on this side. Now, this was kind of a neat little one. I just like showing you guys like Doug DeMiro, quirks and features. Here's a quirk and feature of the appliances. Now we have a Mila microwave, but if you have very delicate hands that can't afford to be tampered with, check this out. When you open the microwave, the actual handle itself louvers. So when you grab it, it actually moves with you and kind of oscillates, if you will. Just a wonderful, neat touch. All right, now that we've seen the kitchen, we're gonna swing around this way, we're gonna show you the wine chiller, and we're gonna show you what I believe is supposed to be the family room area. So, coming down, over here we do have access to the indoor-outdoor, so you can walk from the family room directly out here. Wonderful. Now, coming into this family room, again, we have this magnificent exposed beam and it is just a work of art architecturally. It's just beautiful and sensational. And the contrast with the white grade five level drywall stucco, it just looks so rich. Now, uh, I promise you we talk about the wine chiller room. So, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but very, very lovely. Now here's another area where they did not cheat. Typically, we've seen a lot of these wine cellar wine rooms created this one actually does have refrigeration, so you can control right here the exact temperature you want. I know it sounds crazy, but we've seen $8 million homes where there is not climate control on the wine chiller. So thank you for doing this one correctly. All right, now over to the wet bar area. A couple cool things. We have the same quartz countertops that we had in the kitchen, but I love this veneer. Um, so this is actually like a lacquered veneer and it really looks elegant and it's kind of, it hides behind this custom cabinetry and there's LED lighting that reflects off of it that you can see. But at night, this would look spectacular. Again, brass faucets, we have our beer chiller and then over here we just have, you know, a little ice maker, very, very nice. Love the pendant lighting up here. Now, again, you know, it's these, we'll, we'll talk about the drywall a little bit later when we get closer to the stairs, but look at this radius. And in person, this drywall is, <laughs> it's what you would expect for 5 million, but you don't always get it, but it looks sensational. All right, now check out this media wall. So even though they don't actually have the bracket up yet, this is where the television would go for the media. Um, we do have real gas fireplaces. So this is a gas fireplace, but it hasn't been primed. So unfortunately I can't show you, but look how wonderful this marble looks. So this is perfectly book matched, very quality precision. Um, all right, now heading over this direction, we have another powder bathroom. It's a little bit tight. And of course the fan's a little annoying, but we have a just a nice, extra powder bathroom here. And this is an external door that leads out towards the pool. So if you need to freshen up or you just need access coming from the pool, 
that's where you're gonna rock it. All right, down this direction, we're gonna see the laundry room and we're gonna see a secondary bedroom. Now, <laughs> it's gonna be a little tight in here, but again, we have a lovely radius. We have 24 by 48 inch tile, and this is where your washer and dryer will go. There is another laundry room that's up in the primary suite, but nice, accessible, and then of course you can fold your laundry up here. We have a step up, and now we are on the right side of the home, so this is kind of flanked, this little area in the house next to us. But here's a secondary suite. Um, very simple, very nice. We couldn't get this light fixture to work for some reason. That could just be us. But I do love the wall sconces. It has its own light control. Very nice. Again, we have the same hand scraped wood floors. We do have a custom closet. Um, all the switches are motion controlled, so very neat. Going into this bathroom, 24 by 48 inch stone, uh, kind of looks like a limestone, very nice. I'll try to get some B-roll for you, but these shelves, very custom shelves, very, very nice. Now, we have, again, three inch countertops, but this is real marble. Be like, again, look at, look at all the lighting. Everything is just done with taste and class and precision. We have custom cabinetry. Even these pools are really neat. Ash and I were checking them out. Custom cabinetry detail. Normally, this drawer would be a dead drawer because of the sink, but because it's custom, we can squeeze in a little bit more room going around all the plumbing. Just those little touches that make something $5 million worth $5 million. Very simple shower, but elegant, nice. Um, yeah, not much to talk about. Yeah, it's a secondary uh, bathroom, but again, these are all suites, so very nice. All right, we've seen this side, so now we're gonna go and cut ahead to the other side of the house where there's some other secondary bedrooms, and we can go ahead and check out that amazing living room. So come follow me. All right, so here we are in this formal living space. So this is what you see when you first come in from that seven foot wide pivot door. You have about 30 foot high ceilings with these exposed beams. It's a very dramatic and wonderful place. I love that this formal living space is actually sunken. So this is sunken about, I would say almost two feet below the other living space. And it just gives it kind of a cool, intimate, 70s pit feel, I really love it. Um, of note, the entire house has a speaker system. We'll see the control panel, but clip speakers throughout the entire home. And now this is neat. So in this formal living room, obviously we have this just massive fireplace. I should have talked about this first. I don't know how you miss it. Again, we have a gas fireplace here, but it's not uh, ignited, so unfortunate. But this is just a sensational and very dramatic fireplace. Everything here is so white, it almost seems unlivable. You're gonna to be touching up everything, especially when I talk about the drywall. You're gonna notice something that you probably haven't noticed so far in the videos. But check out this slider. I believe this was a 17 foot slider, but this leads us into the backyard and it's a great grassy area and over by the pool. Again, just a beautiful, wonderful, intimate, nice place to be. So. Walking back over towards this entryway, we're gonna head over to your left where there's a couple more secondary bedrooms and then we'll discuss this entry a little bit more. Um, this is just a coat closet. Uh, not so much excitement to talk about. But one of the things I do wanna talk about though is these doors. Um, I'll get some B-roll, but these doors are solid core precision doors. All of these uh, door frames are aluminum, but what's awesome is, while obviously these are on hinges, as you get close, a magnet pulls it. It's, it's just kind of neat, man. So instead of having an actual closing hinge um, from a doorknob or door lever, you have these magnets that snap pull them shut. So very cool. All right, we might as well come in and see this room, right? All right, so into the secondary bedroom, lovely light fixture. Um, we have the sconce lights. This one's strobing, it's about to give me a stroke. Um, in here, we do have uh, a lovely, lovely custom closet, as you can kind of see some of it. Smaller, but nice. Motion uh, triggered lighting. And then let's check out this bathroom. 
So this bathroom, again, beautiful, elegant, and a little bit different. So we have all the custom cabinetry, the same that we discussed in the previous one. Uh, but again, notice these cabinets are a little bit different. We have a little bit different marble countertops, beautiful mirror, beautiful. And again, these pendant lights are different than every other bathroom. When we look at the shower, um, I might have to get you some B-roll because it's a little bit tight, but a wonderful shower. And in the other bathroom, we'll show you what they did with some marble inlays, just those little touches that just set it apart from everything else. So let's go next door and check out this other secondary bedroom. As you can see, this bedroom's a little bit larger. So a little bit nicer, beautiful light fixture. We have the in-ceiling speaker system. Of course, this looks the front of the home. So, you know, if we have a little retreat area, this is a little bit larger, a little bit nicer. Uh, again, we have another custom closet in here, triggered by the light. Now let's show you this shower. So in here, again, we have different cabinetry that looks like stone. It almost looks like a concrete. We have beautiful marble countertops, a different mirror. In that last mirror, I don't know if you saw that the edges had a radius, whereas this is more geometric. So close, but yet so different. Love these pendant lights. Now here's what I was gonna show you about the shower. Now, the tile is wonderful and actually has um, a little texture to the surface, but this is like the details. Check this out. Right here, you have the matching marble from the countertops used for this transition for the seat and for the shower pan transition. It's those little touches that just go so far when you're looking at these types of properties. It really, really, really sets this home apart. All right, now that we've seen this wing of the house, let's move back towards the entry area. And I'm gonna show you a, a few pretty cool things. Um, so, you know what, let's swing around. I'm gonna show you what we're talking about drywall. When we're discussing drywall, it's not a sexy subject, but there are five different levels of drywall. This is level five drywall. There's no texture to it. It's perfectly and seamlessly flat. There's really no orange peel to it whatsoever. But if you can see, can you see my feet right now? Did you guys pick up on this? Did you notice there's no baseboards? No baseboards. This requires such a precision level of construction. No baseboards in this entire house. We just looked at an $8 million home that had six inch baseboards. In person, these are the kind of details that make this home worth more than so many other homes is this level of construction. Okay, let's head over this way because there's a couple really neat things. And then we're gonna finish up talking about the staircase. Now, over in this direction is the main powder bathroom. This is a little controversial. Um, what do you guys think? I wanna hear your comments. I'm, I'll be honest, I love this house. All right, no comment. What do you guys think? Do you like this? I mean, it's marble. It's a beautiful fabrication job. I love what they did with it. I don't know that I love the pink, red marble, but again, you gotta add some color to this muted motif. But these lights are awesome. Uh, hopefully you can see these pendant lights are wonderful. Even this is like a rose gold. So while I don't love this fabricated sink, it is neat that all the fixtures are rose gold, the mirrors rose gold. And if you can tell, even the mirror reflection is rose gold. So even though I don't agree with it, I do love the execution of it. All right, now let's check out something really, really, really cool. So we've seen mud decks, mud rooms, what have you. This one's neat. So over here to your left, this is all kinds of storage for you but I love the wood veneer. It looks really, really neat, kind of like a walnut. Um, your sitting area, obviously you can sit here, take your shoes off, put them in here. We got the 24 by 48 inch tile, but check this out. I'm gonna have to turn on the light, which is gonna trigger the fan, but check this out. How cool is this? This area right here is for washing your dog. So you have a handheld wand over here. You've got the drain. So you can bring your best friend, your little pup, 
and you can wash them right here. There's plenty of room. They can shake, splatter, whatever, and you're good to go. I love that. Real quick, over this direction, this is the door to the garage. I'll give you a little peek. It's a garage. It's beautiful, very beautiful. Don't get me wrong. We don't need to talk about it. So I'll give you some B-roll, turn that light off. And now, let's talk about the staircase. Um, I mean, this, I mean, I think the centerpiece is this kitchen that overlooks the tees on the golf course. But from this perspective, this is such an elegant and beautiful staircase. Again, accentuated with the hand scraped wood, the glass for the banisters. Um, this is just wonderful. I love the implementation of the black river rocks and the spheres underneath it. I, I absolutely love what they did with this staircase. And this is actually somewhat visible as you approach the home because of all these windows. All right, without further ado, we have finished the downstairs. So let's go ahead and check out the upstairs because the upstairs is all the primary suite. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we are now upstairs and upstairs is just the primary suite. That's it. I love this. Now, coming over in this area, kind of an extension of the primary suite, call it a loft, call it your office, whatever you want. But this is just a wonderful space. Behind here is a massive uh, window overlooking the golf course. And then over here, this door leads you to the balcony that also comes right out of the primary suite. So you have perfect ingress and egress. Now this I absolutely love. I hate because I'm scared of heights and I'm gonna be a little bit of a wuss right now, but this is freaking me out. I'm not gonna lie, this is freaking me out a little bit. But I love what they did with this. Instead of having a pony wall or a banister that looks cheesy, I love the frameless glass that they went with. This just really opens up everything. It overlooks the living room. And again, you can see all this exposed band, uh, uh, all the exposed beams that just look wonderful. All right, now let's come check out the primary suite because I'm telling you there are some crazy things going on in here. First off, remember we were talking about those solid core doors. Check out this pivot door, absolutely sensational. But what's really cool about this, is remember I was telling you about the magnets? Because this door is so heavy and so large, there's actually two magnets. And when I tell you it snaps shut, it snaps shut. Now, let's check out this primary suite. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Obviously, the whole point of this suite is to overlook this golf course. You can see the fairway. This is a 17 foot slider. This leads out into the balcony area. Again, over this direction leads us to the loft. I don't think you really care about the roof, but this is a wonderful view. There's actually no one out here today and it's right here by the tee, but this is sensational. Over here, we have the media wall. So we have a 72 inch electric fireplace. For some reason it's not on, so forgive me on that. But a lovely media wall, you would have to get an articulating arm to be able to see the television, so you would have to bring it out. But how wonderful would that be with a television and these views, sensational. Again, we have the quartz countertops, the really wonderful cabinetry, beautiful pendant lights. We do have surround sound speakers behind the bed. Eh, I don't think you're worried too much about surround sound. You can figure it out. Again, the flooring is the hand scraped wood flooring that we had, but this is cool. All right, we have a wet bar in the master. Oh, I just committed a huge crime. You're not supposed to say that in the primary. But we have refrigeration. We have the same quartz countertops that we had downstairs. We had different cabinetry, but here's the funny thing. Before we shot, Ashley and I were going through the house like we normally do, and I was telling her that I love the kitchen. There was one thing missing. The only thing missing is almost every massive property has a Mila espresso maker. And I was like, how could they not put an espresso maker in the kitchen? It's the only thing that was missing, and there was perfect cabinets for it. And then there was this. So yes, your kitchen does not have the Mila espresso maker, because you don't have to leave your primary suite to enjoy your morning espresso. Very cool. I think I'm all right with that. I think I'm all right with that. I'm gonna let that one go in the kitchen now. Okay, again, 
you can see right here, this is where it's so evident. Look at the absence of baseboards. Look at that, just architecturally so, so precise. These floors are perfect. Now we transition into the primary bathroom that has 24 by 48 inch tile. And this is my style. I think this is sensational. I love this. I absolutely love this. Now, first we're gonna talk over here. So you might wanna get that direction a little bit. We're hiding something deliberately and you'll understand when we show you. Now, kinda cool. You have your separate makeup vanity here. Love what they did with the wall sconces. This is his toilet. Sure, it could be her toilet, but it's, it's his toilet. Over here, this one's kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit larger, so we have a rounded, like a radius for this wall with a little bit more windows, but we do have the Toto toilet and we have a bidet. That's why I said it was hers, but hey, who's judging? It can be his, whatever. Now this is awesome. Check out this shower. Yeah, stay back so you can see. Um, hopefully you can see these exposed beams in the, in the primary bathroom, but check this out. <sighs> Seamless, no transition, just walk into the shower. In the shower, uh, the only thing that I personally don't like, let me know your comments, just not my style. I don't love the, the marble and, and jade green, not, not, not my style, but I can't say it doesn't work. But how cool is this? You have a linear drain, looks sensational. You have your handheld washers. Up here, you have your shower heads. And then as Ashley backs up, we still have the rainfall shower heads above us, about 10 feet high. So this is pretty ridiculous. This is literally like taking a shower under a waterfall. But I just love how seamless this is. It's in person, you have to appreciate it. Now, this is cool, man. Um, the flooring goes straight up the wall. Excellent job with the construction. You have a beautiful light fixture, but look at this bathtub, man. Let me get out of here. This is beautiful. It looked like Humpty Dumpty cracked in half and we made a bathtub out of them, but I don't know, I dig it. All right, let's head over in this direction. Now, um, remember earlier I told you we had another laundry room? Uh, a little bit tight, but in here we do have another laundry room. So washer dryer, Folger clothing, and look at these light fixtures. I've actually never seen this. It's kind of cool. It looks like they've melted. I'm a simple creature. Now over here we have our wellness room. So, you know, for various things. You can make this into a vault. You can make this into a safe room. I, you can do whatever you want. This is currently set up as a wellness room. So yeah, get your lift on. Get your workout, bro. Do whatever you want to do. All right, we are deliberately, we were deliberately hiding this best for last. Now, over here we have our vanities. So I thought they did a wonderful job. Again, I personally don't love the jade green, but that's just me and um, I'm not buying this $5 million home. So there you go. Um, I do love what they did here though. I mean, a great job staggering the cabinetry and then they deployed the marble downward to hide all the plumbing. I just thought it was a really cool implementation. Again, the architectural, the interior design is just flawless in this home. Love the brass mirrors, uh, just all the way around, sensational. If I were to nitpick, if I were to nitpick, I think the one thing that they could have thought of is instead of having all the outlets exposed here on the wall, would have been really, really, really cool to put some outlets in the drawers, or in these cabinets. So that way you could hide, you know, your electric shaver, your blow dryer. That's the one thing that maybe I would have thought of. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Cause I'm ready for this one. Check this closet out. Ah, how cool is this closet? This is why there's no closet doors. Why would you hide this? This is freaking awesome. I, I don't know what to say, but this is awesome. So <clears throat> over here to the right, this is his closet. So to be fair, it's not the biggest closet. We've seen entire rooms for a closet. This isn't the biggest, but this is the coolest. Over here is her closet. And I, I don't wanna see any comments. I don't, I don't wanna be unwoke. This is for dresses. I know dudes can wear dresses too. I'm just saying, all right, this is her side, unless 
you are into wearing dresses, which, hey, it's your deal, it's your thing, cool. But again, absolutely sensational closet. I love it. All right, this wraps up the primary suite. We've seen everything there is to see inside this home. So now we're gonna take you outside and wrap this whole thing up. Good morning, sir. I have your morning bottle of Vu for you. Chilled and ready. I just, I had to do that. And the truth is really, if you live in this house, you would have Jeeves here giving you your morning bottle of Vuv. Anyways, I told you we'd be outside, let's go outside. All right, coming around like we showed you, love this indoor outdoor slider to a 90 degree angle. The reverse angle you can see here, plentiful amount of seating. You have the same quartz countertops, gorgeous view of the kitchen, that's wonderful. Over in this direction, we have the slider that leads into the family room, indoor, outdoor, sensational. Kind of weird, but we have a, a door here, a pivot door that also leads, whatever. Now, coming over to this side, I love what they did here with the aggregate stone flanked by all the river rocks. Uh, just gives such a wonderful contemporary look. Really, really like it. Neat cacti, little cacti garden. Uh, we'll get to this in a moment. But on this side of the house over here, this is where we have uh, the majority of the air conditioning units. I believe there's two on the other side of the house. But you can see we have five air conditioning units and even this side yard looks spectacular. Now, if you remember that kind of the sneaky powder bath I was telling you, that is the door to the sneaky powder bath. So you have that perfect ingress, egress from the pool so you can freshen up. Um, over here, this area is dedicated for the pool equipment. That's why it's a little bit loud, but very nice. And then of course, over here, we have a very simple outdoor kitchen. So we have a little bit old school quartz countertops, not much done there. You got your grill, your warming area. So eh, it's an outdoor kitchen. I don't know how much more you want me to talk about. Over here, we have a lovely fire pit seating area. So again, at night, this would be wonderful. There's tons of outdoor illumination. Now, this is a cool pool. Again, I love the aggregate. Um, very, very lovely and modern pool. So inside is all Pebble Tech. And then we have uh, an Infinity Edge raised uh, jacuzzi. And then I love water and I love this waterscaping. So I love how you can literally walk on water and come down this direction. Very neat that you have a reverse Infinity Edge for the pool. Very nice, very nice. All right, coming down this area, this is the area for our little fur babies, right? We gotta have some grass somewhere. So yeah, a little bit of room for kids to play, uh, a little bit of area for your fur babies, but very lush, very nice. I love the way it accentuates with the white stucco. And then again, over here, we have our two remaining air conditioning units and access to the side gate. So, this pretty much concludes this house. You guys tell me, what do you think? This is just under $5 million, and I've seen so much less for so much more. We are in Spanish Trail, in the country club, on the golf course. I mean, it's a wonderful, high-end, guard-gated community, but the house itself is sensational. But you guys tell me, what are your thoughts? What do you think of this property? Do you think this is worth the money? Do you think that all of these construction quality upgrades are of a value to you? You tell me your comments, because I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Well, special thanks to Jason Abrams who allowed me to film this property. And you guys stay tuned because we've got so many more exciting property tours ahead. Keep watching, click to subscribe, like this video, share with everyone, and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.